The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Commemoration ceremony in Lyon for memory of the victims of the genocide against Armenians. The Liberal Party of Australia called on to recognize the genocide committed against the Armenians. A march protest in Tbilisi in front of the Turkish embassy. Russia has always perceived the genocide against the Armenians as its own pain, Maria Zakharova. Despite the struggle, the mining continues in Davos. Large-scale dance flash mob dedicated to Gavit Dinosan. Support the television of Western Armenia. In 2024, on April 24, at 12 o'clock, a commemorative ceremony for the victims of the genocide against Armenians was held in Lyon, Zantonin Bon Square. The commemorative ceremony was attended by Ms. Lydia Markosyan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, and Karabet Antosyan, Member of Parliament and Honorary Council of Western Armenia. The video is available on the YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. On the 109th anniversary of the genocide against Armenia, seven Australian Liberal Party candidates who have been confirmed to run in the next federal election have issued a joint statement to opposition leader Peter Datton, calling on him and the incoming Liberal government to accurately describe the events of 1915 up to 1923 as a genocide. The letter sent to the leader of the deposition on April 23, 2024 was endorsed by candidates Giselle Capterian, Dr. Kathy Allen, Tim Wilson, Manny Sicelio, Kathy Mullen, Scott Young, and Theo Zagrafos. In 2023, the Liberal Party of Australia also endorsed party policy on the 1995 up to 1923 genocides of the Armenians, Assyrians and Greeks. Thousands of people across Australia are anxiously waiting to see if Australia's Prime Minister and opposition leader will finally have the courage to use the world genocide. A march protest in Tbilisi in front of the Turkish Embassy. On April 24, in Tbilisi, on the 109th anniversary of the victims of the genocide against Armenians, a march protest was held in front of the Turkish embassy. We learn about this from the Facebook page on the Armenian community of Georgia. On genocide against Armenians in 1915 up to 2023 was also displayed in front of the embassy. On other the presiding of His Grace Bishop Davtian, an intercessory ceremony was performed in memory of the holy matters of the genocide committed against the Armenians who died for their faith and homeland, stated the information. Russia has always perceived the genocide committed against the Armenians as its own pain and misfortune, the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, said during the weekly briefing. April 24 is another anniversary of the victims of the genocide against the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire. This sad date has a huge historical, spiritual, moral and political significance for the friendly people of our ally, Armenian and the multi-million Armenian diaspora in Russia. We have always perceived this tragedy as our own pain and misfortune, said Zakharova. According to her, Moscow was one of the first to announce the official recognition of the genocide. Yesterday, commemorative events were held in many cities of Russia. The mining protest works are being carried out in the area of Kiran's village of Davush region. Despite the struggle of the village or these works have started, people are not allowed to approach the area. The illegal activity started by the government of Eastern Armenia with its illegal partner is unacceptable for us. Everyone should once again understand that the following has happened. The head of the current government of Eastern Armenia made a decision to unilaterally make concessions from our homeland. And our revolt is about that this violates the law, the procedure, as well as the principle of international agreements, told the reporters Archbishop Bagrat Galastanian, leader of the Diocese of Tavush. Since 1982, on the initiative of UNESCO's International Dance, Council April 29 is celebrated as International Dance Day. Chronographer Piotr Gusev proposed the date, and the day was not chosen by chance either. French chronographer, ballet theoretician, reformer Jean-Georges Novere, known in history as the father of modern ballet, was born on April 29. Novere was the first to stage independent dancing performances. On the occasion of International Dance Day on April 29, a large-scale dancing flash mode will take place. It is dedicated to the vivid memory of lecturer Gagi Ginoisian. Culture program, dance festival in the national spirit will take place in the Republic Square with the participation of regional music schools, traditional ensemble state ensembles and other dance groups. The organizer is Artur Haotsunyan, a lecturer of the chronography department of Yerevan's theater. 
Western Armenia Television, being loyal to its principles and viewers, continues it in uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.